Hi everyone, it's Athena and welcome back to my channel. It is the 24th of June, 2021. Today is the marking of the super strawberry moon full moon in Capricorn. What does that tell us? Well, for me, since we are part of Mother Earth and we are the energy of Mother Earth and the planets are there to help us and guide us and give us direction as we proceed with this spiritual evolution that we are all going through. Um, for me personally, I see that since we are again Mother Earth, we are being those who have been evolving and doing the work and and meditating and journaling and seeking um seeking a clear path of spiritual evolution in terms of doing the work this full moon is going to allow you to to expand something that you're doing perhaps um what comes with a full moon in terms of endings doesn't mean that it's the end of of your evolution that's not true but it could be the end of part of the growth that you've gotten to as so far and now you're evolving to a higher consciousness going forward as we call it a paradigm shift that's how i feel this is this full moon in capricorn is going to be for those who are on the spiritual path of evolution which we all are but not all of us are aware of that I'm talking 5D versus 3D um, understanding. More so the 3D is about have I gotten to the successful to a successful place in my career, in my job? Have I expanded? Is this job giving me the growth and foundation? And stability that I need or do I need to reassess this you know and go deeper to see maybe it's time for me to move on okay so it depends on where you're at if your 3d consciousness cannot can only can only look at your your 3d job and life then that's what your going to aspire toward as the full moon for some of you it's you're in between some of you are you're in between the 3d and the 5d which is 4d which is now you're getting an understanding kind of of why you're here and you're releasing your need to know as much as your need to know in the sense as as you're not all here for the materialistic values or yeah the materialistic values that have been tainted on the 3d plane right everything on 3d is materialistic misuse of power we got to work harder you got to do this you got to you got to make money if you if you are not you know if you're not living the american dream you're like, you know, what are you doing with your life? That's 3D. 4D is like, wait a second, 4D. Wait a second. Why am I working my butt off when life is so short? Maybe I should, maybe I should take myself out and take off for a day. Maybe I should give more of my time and energy to others um, perhaps I should not speak and listen more to what others have to say. I feel more generous in the 4D. I feel like I want to give more of myself to others. 
I feel I want to learn about why and what makes me tick. I feel I need a higher understanding of why I decided to come to the earth plane. 5D. Zeus. <laughs> 5D. Well, I just want to give back. I just want to I just want to give everything that I have. I want to give my love to others and I see others struggles. And I realize that it's not so bad from this, from this higher plane. I'm going to help those who I can help. I will give to those in need. I will listen and be the shoulder to cry on for others. I will give my love and I will receive love. I will understand that I am part of the whole and that all that I am is enough. I'm using the vice versa tarot. The vice versa tarot for the reading for today. I'm going to do a general today. You saw those completely flipped, right? I mean, what the heck? Six of Wands, upright. Death. Death. Wow. Ten of Swords. Overcoming. Overcoming the ending of, which is perfect for the full moon today. Overcoming the end of what I used to be, what I used to think, who I used to be, and who I used to love. Those ten of swords that hit my back, the dark night of the soul that I have gone through, I have overcome, and I... And I'm proud. And I'm not egoically proud because why? I sit on this horse of that gives me the freedom to now say goodbye. Say goodbye to a time that was very difficult. Interesting that look, the horse in the death card is lit up with a fire of the background here, right? What has been lost? One man's loss is another man's gain, of course. I think this is identity. Someone has put to rest all of the pain so that now the energy from the the horse's eyes, because right, the wind, the eyes, excuse me, are the windows to the soul. Someone's soul. So whatever losses we have had, loss of loved ones, loss of identity. I think, and I'm feeling that huge loss of identity in order to realize that when you land, which is my book, the ego has landed, this is it. And when you land your ego, for those that this applies to, your identity or what you show up in the world, when that dies, you now realize that you're on a whole different path of being free to not have to worry about what others think, not have to worry about if others like me, will they accept me? Am I good enough? Am I stable enough? Am I whole? 
this is also uh, obviously, you know, the end of pain, misery, and suffering in order to move now into a new stage and shifting what you've learned now is you've evolved and now you can move forward. Oh yeah, this is, this is, oh my gosh. This is the end. This is the end. And this is the end. And it's the Trinity. We say goodbye. However, you're saying goodbye. The pain, do it with forgiveness. Say goodbye to those that we have lost in order for you to now be free and free, freed from the pain and suffering. Saying goodbye. Oh my gosh. And then the lovers. All right, so the lovers and the six of wands are upright. I am putting them above the horizon because as you can see, we have two sixes. So what happens? What happens now? We say goodbye to each person that hurt us, that betrayed us, that lied, manipulated, stole, that died for us. I don't know, I have to say it, because it's here. We're saying goodbye, we send our love, we give our love through forgiveness. Always say goodbye to your past, past people that have hurt you, past people that have left us. Say it and give them love, You always give, forgive and give them love. I will always love you. I will always love you. And I must go now. So someone has, I, I death came knocking on someone's, on many people's doors within the last, I don't know, I can't remember. I think in June, my June readings, I know definitely two signs that had death knocking at their door. This could be coming up, and I'm sorry if someone is ill and may be dying. It's either a physical death or it's a mental finally getting out of your head and forgiving yourself for your past actions. The light, there's always light in the darkness, right? This is the light, right? This is the light, of course, through the window, the soul, sorry, through the eyes of one's soul is always light in the darkest places. When it's really dark, there's always light. We are the light. Someone is, someone could be passing, and I'm sorry, someone could be passing. I'm really sorry. It could happen in August. And then we have a free, free to, to actually then Find yourself again in a situation where you're right with someone that you love. This could have been someone you loved because this is how it came out, right? Remember. Okay, you can see them. This lovers could be someone that you loved, but with the six and the six, I feel that in between all of this is the releasing of the past the releasing of the sorrow, the pain, and saying goodbye to those that we have lost in order to gain 
right? Gain a sense of self again, to feel good again, to lift your lift your head up, right? These head this is all sorrow. And then on each side is the freedom in a relationship to be with someone. Wow. And this is what the full moon in Capricorn is bringing. All of this. So that we can go back to this. Look at the bottom of the deck. On each side I'll do. Look. The Cancer card. Someone could be dying or has died of cancer. Well, that is so general, but it's also very true, isn't it? Someone has found, just found out, just found out that someone has passed or is going to be finding out. What's the other side here? The three of wands. So that now here is the yin and yang, the dark and the light, which we see here. All of the darkness in that on that side is in all of the eyes in the death card and the light here. The three of wands is now I can walk the path with someone that I love or I'm walking a new path in general after this happens. So what, what do we say? After death, after someone passes or after we have gone through so much pain in our lives, we realize that don't we deserve to be on a new path and loving what we do and loving who we're with once again, or maybe someone who has died is it could be a family member, what have you, but on two sides of the spectrum here is I want to live again. I want to fall in love again. Or you're dealing with someone together and going through this together. There could be someone, someone could also be, which I just heard, I would die for you, which is kind of crazy, but it is, it has been said. I'm being told to take two of each on each side. Three of pentacles. This man is re, is reconfiguring their life, going back to the drawing board after they've after the loss. Someone's feeling like if I put, if I focus on work, then I won't feel as bad. The pain won't be as real, which, right? Which is whatever you think that is, right? Then on this side, we have the three of wands, right? with the Queen of Cups reversed. So I'm gonna say it, because I'm not pulling any more cards. The loss could have been a Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm not talking just physical. It could have been easily physical, but it could have been someone just walked away from a relationship that they were deeply, madly in love with someone it could have been a lover. It could have been a friend. It could have been a mother. Excuse me. Someone else is knows and or this Cancer Pisces Scorpio. It's not a physical death. It is an emotional death and a need to forgive someone who could not be emotionally available with the Three of Swords reversed and the moon the masculine and feminine they agree to walk away and say i will always love you but i can't be with you we're not going to subject ourselves to the fact that we do have 
a man who's looking at five cups. Who's in mourning. Because someone that he truly loved has, lo has he lost out. Either physical, mental, or emotional loss here. Mind you, not all losses are physical. We know that, don't we? Someone thought he was going to manifest. He was going to start a new beginning with this queen. And something came out to say perhaps three people are in three people are in this situation and one had to go and that was her the queen of um of cups in order for two people to be together we do have the six and six we have to level this out we have to even out the score so someone had spirit spirit right dark night of the soul here this is the dark the dark night coming in to say okay what you don't see coming is someone who's going to pass either someone like i said this is emotional spiritual physical i mean it is all spiritual sorry i digress this is either emotional, mental, or physical death. In order for two people to reunite, which it looks like this. Someone is going to be with someone because they're both upright. In the middle of all this is the end of the struggle of the pain, of the sorrow, and the grieving for another. Like I said, it could have been someone had cancer. I'm seeing tumors. It could have been someone with a tumor. I'm also seeing if it, that was, that's if it's physical death. If it's emotional death, I'm looking at, I couldn't make it work. There's three here and three here. Three of Pentacles and Three of Swords dictate I couldn't be emotionally available because I have I'm already paired up with someone. But I'll never I'll never forget you. I must forgive and move on. This is a very solemn reading. This could have already happened also where someone has passed and you're just reminiscing. Look at, I. this is really, look at this. Wow, hold on. This is a man reminiscing of a love, a love he, a great love he had for someone. Look, the, ro the rose depicts the love and then the heart. Um, I'm going to also say that, you know, someone is putting a, I'm not going to say tattoo, but I will say it. Some of you are tattooing a rose for the loss of a loved one on your body. I'm also going to say that someone is, um, is, is going to be putting a structure um, what is it a um, mausoleum thank you spirit S someone someone is going into a mausoleum and they are going to imprint the heart on the mausoleum There's a stork. 
the stork on the back. The stork is about what, you know? The stork is about bringing good news, but this stork is reversed. So this stork is healing from the loss of someone. It could be the loss of a child. I'm not gonna lie. I don't feel that as much as I feel the loss of a loved one. I feel there were three people and this, this loss has now enabled two people to get together. They are free now to be together. Emotional, physical, mental loss of any kind that you have endured with or without someone. Today's reading will be noted as with or without. With or without you, we do survive, but the love never dies. Have a great day.